came to Africa about uh, 14 years ago, just long before Atel from India, the operator, came to Africa. And we have had uh, a, a long relationship with the top four groups, the operator group, which is um, the MTN, Orange, Airtel, and Tigo, for a very long time. And um, we provide a slew of services. We're not limited to the non-voice space only. We are there in the core network platforms. We compete with a whole host of majors, including Converse, Ericsson, Nokia. And in the non-voice space, which we are widely known to be quite, uh, quite profitable and uh, popular there, we provide a range of services, including RBT, the mainstay, music, and app services. And, but apart from that, we are probably the only company from India to be able to provide uh, mobile money platforms to all the four majors in Africa. So we're probably the largest provider of mobile money platforms in Africa. We present with Econet, we present in Atel across all the 17 countries, we present in Orange and all their operations in Africa, and with Tigo in Tanzania. So we're there with all the majors. In, uh, so it, it's a complete range of services, end-to-end -end services in Mumbai. I would think it's a very opportune time for MEF to start operating uh, in a restructured manner in Africa. Africa is the next big growth continent in telecom, and it's, it's the next big story happening. India was uh, at that stage about five years ago, and it's well past that stage now, with about 900 million subscribers. The next biggest lot of subscribers is going to come from Africa. And it's a growth story. In fact, you can see a lot of Chinese companies, a lot of Indian companies, a lot of uh, Western companies making a beeline for Africa. So if with MEF around, it would be uh, the right time to seize the opportunity and lay down the policies and create opportunities for, for the entire ecosystem. Uh, for the time being, I'm looking at a larger opportunity way beyond Comviva. I'm, uh, I'm looking at the ecosystem. I'm looking at being able to uh, provide uh, inputs from my past experience in telecom and my diverse experience on both sides of the table at the operator level and at the, uh, with the VAS uh, partners to be able to give them a rich um, a feedback on how we could frame policies, how we could create strategies that would help both the opcos and the partners. In fact, uh, MEF has taken the first few steps in demolishing those challenges. It's tried to enlist people in the steering committee from a very diverse background, some from the opcos, some from the, uh, the non-voice partner companies, and many of them from different geographical uh, countries, you know, different countries so that we get the right amount of uh, expertise and, and the local knowledge to be able to influence decisions.